take three. Hello friends, my name is Surreal Emil and welcome back to Forza Horizon 2. Today we're doing the Classic Racer Championship and we have with us the most expensive car in automotive history. This is the Ferrari 250 GTO. Last time one of these sold it was 52 million dollars, which is insane. Luckily in Horizon 2 it doesn't actually cost that much, it's 6 million credits. Uh, I finally plucked up the courage to go and buy this. And yeah, it's actually quite nice to drive. You have also got some pretty cool uh, screenshots with the car, which will undoubtedly be one of the thumbnail images. I've done some minor modifications to it. I did actually talk you through the modifications. Unfortunately, uh, my commentary on that was absolutely god-awful. I was slurring all over the place. I'm still not particularly great at English at the moment, it appears. And so that's cool. I've also got this design. I believe this was on one of the racing 250 GTOs. You can actually get this uh, as a paint job on the 599 GTO. So I assume this was one of the racing paint jobs of the day. It's a very cool design. Uh, a lot better than the other ones. I didn't really like any of the other ones, but this one is definitely cool. We'll go do a circuit race because that's sort of what this car is made for. Uh, the 250 GTO is actually one of the most famous cars in the world as well. I believe it was pretty successful in racing. Now, I did read the Wikipedia article. Unfortunately, none of it's actually sunk in, um, which is great. So, I don't know too much about the 250 GTO. I do know it was fairly successful at racing and that they cost a lot of money. And it has a... I believe it's a 2.8 litre V12, which produces normally about 300 horsepower. In this one, it's uprated to 310, just to hopefully make us a bit more competitive, because this car starts out in mid B class, and obviously it's a very old car, so you need racing brakes and so on. I've actually got sports suspension on this, because when I was driving it about when I first bought it, it's actually got fairly decent suspension uh, which surprised me you know this car actually handles pretty well uh, yeah I'd say upgraded you could probably get this on par with the Alpha TZ2 which is a another fantastic handling vehicle it has the world's most useless window wipers that vehicle but it is fantastic we might be using that in the next episode I'm not sure um, I'm kind of torn between that or the Shelby Cobra now, I was going to say that I don't want to use this car as a battering ram because it's so expensive. However, it appears that we sort of have and we've broken many millions of pounds worth of cars. Now, I'm not quite sure how much their Mastins are worth, but I assume they go for quite a bunch. Although, strangely, I don't actually like that Aston Martin DBR one. Uh, it's actually, during Forza 4, I was going for achievements because I'm kind of a bit of an achievement whore occasionally. And hence why I'm playing through Forza Motorsport 3. And there's an achievement for getting the five most expensive cars which were originally on disc. And that was this 250 GCO, or is a slightly different model of GCO, as I smack that wall. Uh, Ferrari 250 Testarossa, the Aston Martin DBR1, um, might have been the Jaguar D type, possibly. And there might have been a racing Maserati, but I'm not remembering it too well. But anyway, uh, I actually had four of those vehicles. The only one I didn't have was the Aston Martin. And I spent about, oof, it must have been a couple of months trolling the auction house just trying to get one. Because I was not prepared to pay six million credits for it. Uh, eventually I did find one. I think I got one for five million credits. Um... So that was kind of cool. Uh, I actually ended up, as soon as I got the achievement, I sold it again for six. So that was alright. Speaking of credits, this is going to sound a bit desperate. If you guys actually play Forza Motorsport 3 and you have a lot of money, can I please have some 250 GTOs? Uh, I, I have no money in that game. <laughs> I do have some money, but I'd rather like some more money because there's some interesting cars in that game that weren't in the uh, future Forza games there was a Chevrolet is it a Chevrolet Avo I think it's something like that it's one of the small Chevrolets that we used to call a Daewoo back in England back in the day god this thing needs a new gearbox as well I've just noticed that but yeah 
you can put a Chevrolet ZR1 engine in that, and I reckon that'd be quite funny to make a video on. <laughs> so, we'll see. But yeah, I, I would appreciate some cars. Speaking of cars, actually, special rare cars, uh, I finally managed to get myself a Nissan Duke Pringles edition. I won one in... It was kind of a giveaway, but not many, too many people entered it, so I just sort of won. Um, there was free codes available. I'm not sure if there's still available. If you go on Instagram and type in Nissan Duke Pringles edition, you'll probably find uh, the contest I'm referring to. And yeah, so I've got Nissan Duke Pringles edition now. All I need is a Ford F-150 Cheetos edition, I believe that's what it's called. That's the other rare car they bought out around the time of the Duke. I just like having all the rare special cars, so yeah, that's a thing. And, yeah, and unfortunately, they don't actually sell Cheetos here. Well, I don't like Cheetos, because I believe they're made from cheese, and I absolutely cannot stand cheese. Um, so, yeah, when we can't get that car in England, unfortunately. But I think the feeling's mutual, because I see a lot of Americans complaining about uh, not getting the Pringles Dukes. Uh, believe me, here in England... Uh, the Pringles that were selling, or are selling the codes, they're extremely rare for some reason. As in, literally, I can't find Pringles Extra anywhere here in England. Now, I've searched around two of the big supermarkets. Uh, you can probably find them in Asda's, but I'm, I'm a bit... It, what's the word? I don't like going in Asda's. There you go, especially around here. So, yeah, don't worry. We can't find the codes either, but... You know, if I do happen to run into some codes, I'm willing to give them out to you all. Uh, if you're all interested. Alright, what we got in this race? We got a Maserati 3000S. That makes a fantastic first gear racer. Um, we was actually playing Horizon Online many months ago, this would have been. And I was set a challenge to my friend and I said to him, Hey, build the fastest car you can but you can only use first gear and we made some pretty you know fantastic stuff i had a lotus esprit which can do 261 in first gear uh i think all the first gear really does is restrict your acceleration speed it doesn't actually affect the top uh miles an hour because i believe the ultimate gtr which was the fastest car was still the fastest car so yeah, I think it's, is it the Bugatti now, which is the fastest car, the EB110? Possibly, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really use the Ultima or the Bugatti, because I don't really like the Ultima. And the Bugatti, I do like the Bugatti as a car. However, I don't know. I, I've always preferred it when it's just sort of on its own without the Veyron engine in it and without going for a super top speed build. Usually I just build my Bugatti to do circuit racing. Uh, it's actually quite an interesting story. Back in Forza Motorsport 3, when I first got it, I got the, is it Collector's Ultimate Edition? The one with two discs. And I got gifted a number of gift cards. And now, for some reason, the people who bought exactly the same version of me, my friends, they didn't get the same uh, gift cards for some reason. But anyway, I got a Bugatti EB110, which is now the fastest car in the game, and it was the fastest car in Horizon 1. And... Yeah, I used that thing for ever. I think that was like one of my most used cars. I absolutely love that thing. I've sold all the upgrades on it now. Uh, I've still got the car in my garage, but I've sold all the upgrades from it. But yeah, that thing was fantastic. Yeah, whatever you put against that in a drag race, it just couldn't cope because it had the at the time the Super Sport Veyron wasn't available, so it had a engine out of a standard Veyron. That thing was quick. <laughs> We always used to do drag races and stuff, and that Bugatti definitely dominated many drag races until everyone figured out X-Class cars. Yeah. That was really fun, actually. That was... Jesus Christ, that's bright. Um, but that was kind of fun, you know? Everyone was sort of trying to figure out how Forza works and stuff. And no one knew about the X-Class cars, and I was... You know, I never read into it on the internet. I just bought the game and got into it, so... That was, I had Forza 1, but I didn't really get into that game as much. It's still there, actually. I might do a Let's Play on it. But Forza 3 was sort of the first time I truly got into the Forza games and, you know, started to understand all the mechanics and stuff, and it was a really cool time. 
Anyway, we've got a wheel spin, so we'll end on a wheel spin. Let's see if we can get ourselves a car, or at least fix all of the oil leaks, which are probably occurring now. Ooh, we got a car. Uh, I'll keep it. Might build some out of it. Um, but anyway, friends, my name's been The Real Emil. This has been the Ferrari 250 GTO. Take it in one last time, because... I don't know, actually. Tell me down below if you've got this car in your garages on Horizon. But anyway... My name's been The Real Emil, that's a glitchy vinyl on the top I've just noticed, and until next time, fair.